they call it a mute. They call it a mute button for a reason. Good morning to you out there on the grind. Good morning to you on the Grindology 101 virtual podcast. I'm your guy, Kijana Owens. Today, I got an amazing young man we're going to bring on, uh, making a difference, a leader. Uh, get to call him a young man because he's a young man, uh, making out there a, a difference. Mr. Willie Lee Tubbs, uh, Kingdom Communities. Uh, author, speaker, coach. I mean, I had an opportunity to work on him, work with him with several um, online conferences across the country. So that's going to be exciting today. But guess what? First of all, we thank him for the uh, opportunity to get to get up today and have another chance, another opportunity to put our best foot forward towards what we want. Don't have to. We get to. He didn't have to. He chose to. He chose you. He chose us. We have a chance. Take it. Make it. It's our day. It's your time. And today, as we get into it, I, in his own words, I just want uh, Mr. Willie Tubbs just to have a, a second you know, something that I, I think um, just really announces who he is and what he's all about. And we have him on in just a second. Stand by. <music> Hello everyone, my name is Willie Tubbs. I am the author of the book called Parents, It's Time to Reset, How to Rescue Yourself and Lead Your Children to Their Greatness. I served in the Army for 13 years and I feel privileged and honored to share stories and wisdom to students like yours, teaching them how to reset. As a result of teaching your students my reset philosophy, they learn and understand the answers and the questions they ask themselves subconsciously before they engage in any activities in life. The answers to these questions determines why a student will make all A's versus a student will make all C's. The answers to these questions determines why a student will join the football team versus a student that would join the chess team. Do you wanna know these questions? I call these questions the five questions of life because it determines everything that we do in life. And the first question is, why am I here? This is a question of purpose. And the answer to that question is the R in reset, which stands for remember you were created to solve a problem. The next question is, where do I come from? This is a question of heritage. And the answer to that question is the E in reset, which stands for embrace your mentor's mentality. The next question is, who am I? This is a question of identity. And the answer to that question is the S in reset, which stands for set your ideal work environment. The fourth question is, what can I do? This is a question of potential. And the answer to that question is the second E in the reset, which stands for employ yourself and your resources. The last question that every student asks themselves before they engage in any activity is, where am, where am I going? This is a question of destiny. And the answer to that question is the T in reset, which stands for take a bow and celebrate yourself. After teaching your students this reset philosophy, they will learn to become unstoppable, to achieve every goal they set for themselves. Thank you for your time to watch this video. I look forward to working with you and your students. Once again, my name is Willie Tubbs. Have a great day. Man, I got him on the line with me right there, Mr. <laughs> Willie Lee Tubbs, man. And you're all way. How you doing this morning, sir? Man, I'm doing I'm doing great, uh, King Kajana. Uh, I'm tell you something. I'm so excited about the things that God is doing in my life, for the things that God is doing in your life. I'm so excited for the new dynamic of dreams and visions and understanding the opportunities that we have. 
for one another and for what we can do with our lives. You know what? Let me slow down a little bit because I'm already uh, I'm, I'm I'm already lit, and uh, I'm here to I'm here to 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 share with your listeners that it is time to reset. It is time to reset. Not only that, how they can become a better version of themselves. But I'm gonna shut up right now and I'll allow you to uh, do your thing real quick. No, but I'm, I'm great. Man. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> this platform is about grindologists. This is about people that are willing to do the work. People that are willing to step out front and put an effort. Man, you can flip, you can flop, you can fall. You, it doesn't matter, man. If you're willing to get up and get out there and make it happen for yourself, man, this is it's the life. That's what it is. What's on the other side? Who knows anyway? But when you're committed to helping people like yourself, it's an honor to have you on the show. And the platform is about you. So in your own words, Mr. Willie Lee Tubbs. Now, I, I'm going I'm to tease you a little bit about that country with Mr. Willie Lee <laughs> when we come back on, man. But in your own words, what you got going on, my man? You're doing a lot. Well, um, first of all, let me say this. Uh, for a long time, I I, I wanted to to share with the world God. I love God so much. And I want to share everybody to let them know what God can do for them in life. So I realized a certain thing, I, like I served in the military for a couple of years, um, well, 13 years. And one of the conversations I had with my first sergeant changed my trajectory of what I can do to help bring people to God. And the conversation went something like this. Let me say it like this. Uh, my first sergeant came to me because he uh, he realized that uh, I wanted to become an NCO. And, you know, for the um, the listeners and the viewers out there, an NCO is nothing but a non-commissioned officer. OK, so he realized that and he came to me, he asked me a question. Willie, Willie. I mean, he said, Specialist Tubbs, I heard you want to become an NCO. I said, yes, First Sergeant Torres, I do. He said, great, Specialist Tubbs, great. If you want to become a, a great NCO, you must know the difference between an E5 sergeant and an NCO. At first, I thought it was the same, but I stepped to him. I said, first Sergeant Torres, there's no difference. He said, there's a difference, and I want you to remember this for the rest of your life. He said, an E5 is a pay grade. Some people are in the leadership position because of the money. A sergeant is a rank. Some people are in the leadership position because the authority that they get to have. But an NCO, an NCO is a leader. Some people are in the leadership position because they lead by example. Now, if you want this leadership position because of the money and the uh, and the position that it gives, your troops will recognize it and they will hate you. But if you want this leadership position, because you want your troops to become great by demonstrating how you are becoming great. Your troops will recognize it and they will love you. Right then and there, I realized if I want to bring people to God through business, I must understand that I, I cannot lead people to God if I don't care about their financial future. I cannot point them to God if they feel that they can't become who they need to be. But I can lead them to God by demonstrating how God is changing my life. One day the Holy Spirit said, if you want to change the world, Willie, find a way to change a person's economy so you can get their attention to tell them the truth. Here at Kingdom Communities, we are a firm believer what the late Billy Graham said. He said years, years ago, the next move of God will be in the marketplace. Why? Why is that? Because now in this era, everybody knows what's going on. They call in this era the great resignation. And according to the U.S. Bureau, stats show April last year, 4 million people quit their jobs. In July, another 4 million people quit their jobs. In August, 4.2 million people quit their jobs. Why? Because people are looking for better pay. People are working conditions and they want 
you know, more flexible time around the arrangement of the things that they want to do. Because there's a lot of things that COVID-19 has taught us. By the way, my acronym for COVID-19 is Christ over viruses and infectious disease. Ooh, let me say it again. Christ over viruses and infectious disease. So therefore, I'm telling everyone, it's time for you to go for your dream. When I first start this whole uh, paradigm shifting of dream, I used to think the dream of is that ultimate goal. But now I realize the dream is all about the moments that we have in life. Yes, you could have that ultimate goal. You could be that um, that teacher, that engineer, or that motivational speaker. But really, we only have a moment in time for us to be the best version of ourselves. Whenever you are dying, you don't think about your money. You don't think about um, the things that you have done. You think about what? Your loved ones and how did I impact? So I'm here to say this. Kingdom communities. Oh, man, I'm getting excited. Kingdom, kingdom communities. It's all about giving people the opportunity to love on one another. Check it out. Our motto is all about, I am a story of love. I am a story of love. So let me break it down. I am. I am a brother. I am a father. I am a husband. I am a son, but I also am a king. As you can see, I got the name right there is King Willie Tubbs. In this community, we let everyone know king and queen. We uh, we say your name with that title because that's who you are. You are a king. You are a queen. I am a kingdom ambassador. I am a, uh, a, a kingdom citizen, but I'm also a creator. I am also vitality. I am. So every day of my life, I find myself, I find myself in that position. One moment I may be a king. One moment I may be, uh, I may be that father in that position. But while I'm in that role, I am a story of, I am a story. I have a story to tell. It is your story that's going to get you out to the marketplace. There is one product that everyone needs and there is no competition. What is it? What is it? It is your story. Everyone needs that. So while I'm in that road, there's a story that's being planted next to that road. And understanding that I could walk out of being who I need to be while I'm in that road. That's what the reset philosophy is all about. Reset. My acronym for reset is remember every situation equals transformation. This is my moment. This is my time. And love, love. I am a story of love in this community, everyone. We have three levels of love. The first level of love is the love that we have for God. We believe that every believer wants to experience God. And the good news is God is in you. The word said Christ in you, the hope of glory. Therefore, G-O-D, mm, come on, greatness on display. Every time I encourage you, every time I pray for you, every time that I come around to show you that I'm there, I'm literally showing you God because Christ is in me. Whenever you see God, you are seeing me. Whenever I see God, I am seeing you. And the, uh, the second level of love is the love that we have for our community. In this community, we have made up in our mind, everyone. We have made up in our mind that we're going to solve the problem of homelessness. I have partnered with a nonprofit organization called Operation Tiny Houses. Right now, we are focusing on homeless veterans, but eventually we're going to solve the problem on homelessness of every place in this whole world. 
the love that we have for our community. The last level of love is the love that we have for you. You have a dream in life. There is something that you're supposed to do. My acronym for dream is a divinely revealed event awaiting manifestation. Your dream is waiting for you. It's waiting for you. When you understand that and know that I depend on you for you to go for your dream, let me break it down like this. King uh, Kajana, let me break it down like this. You have to go for your dream. See, when I first thought about dream, like I said, it's that dream that I need to go towards, but it's also my dream is who I need to be in that present moment in time. But check it out. Your dream is like a seed. When you start going for your dream, you begin to water that seed, which eventually grows into a tree and produces fruit. But guess what? The fruit that's on the tree is never there for its own enjoyment. Oh, did you get that? It's for other people to enjoy. It is for other people to enjoy. I need you to go for your dream so I can eat your fruit. I'm a better person because of your fruit. Like right now, I'm eating the fruit of King Kajana. Why? Because he has a platform. This platform is his fruit. And I have the opportunity to reach you through his fruit. So I need you to go for your dream so I can eat more of your fruit. This is the reason why we like LeBron James. This is the reason why we like Stephen Curry. This is the reason why we like Patrick Mahomes. Because we eat, we eat their fruit of inspiration and access. So therefore, in this community, it is a decentralized community. Which means we are different from Facebook. We are different from any other platform out there. Why? Because every member that's a part of this, this is what we are doing. We are circulating our profits so we all can rise above them all. And why is this so unique? Because as I pray for you, as I encourage you, you are collecting cryptocurrency. Let me say it again. You are collecting cryptocurrency. Kingdom token too. You have the opportunity to literally live out what Matthew 6 and 33 talks about. Seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. All these things will be added unto you. And if you look before that scripture, Jesus said, why do you worry about your house? Why do you worry about your food? Why do you worry about your, your clothing? Only the pagans. Worry about those things. But ye see, he first the kingdom of God. See, what is the kingdom of God? Mm. The kingdom of God is all about, okay, the number one law in the kingdom of God. Check it out. It is to love thy God with all thy heart, love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Did you get what I just said? Love thy God with all thy heart and love our neighbor as we love ourselves. So now in this community, we have the ability to love on you at all times. And guess what? We have a way by us just loving it on each other. All these things will be added unto you. What do I mean? You are collecting cryptocurrency. This is the future, everyone. The blockchain is the future. I'm even my I have my daughter. I have my daughter learning about NFTs. If you don't know about NFTs. It's going to blow your mind when you understand the whole process. But inside of kingdom communities, we have the ability to change the world by actually doing what God told us to do. Love on each other and not have to worry about finances ever again. I'm so excited, King. I am so excited. But when you understand this, when you understand it, you begin to walk into your destiny. How? What if you want to be a singer? And being a, a singer, you still have to pay, uh, you still working on a, uh, you still own a paid internship, 
What is a paid internship? I don't call it a job anymore. What is a job? J-O-B. People jump out of bed on a journey on boredom to be just over broke. I guess you're on mute. And they Can call you? it a mute button for a reason, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you just mouthing stuff over this man. I'm over here taking notes, man, experiencing J-O-B. Don't make me jump on back on there. You know, uh, one of my things is apply the work. Uh, the level of your work to match the level of your faith. Uh, you continue to jump out there and show people, not tell people. And listen, we can make an impact. Your, your written works, you know, your testimony, and then, you know, your forward thinking vision of how investment and money, transference and all this stuff, right? That we don't all know, but you're sharing information. We're going to have you on. Please stand by. We're going to share a little bit about our partners and success. Man, it's good to have you. Willie Lee. Man, we're gonna, when we come back, I want to hear a Willie Lee story when we come back. <laughs> a right. Willie Lee story, man. My man right there. Good to have you more. You're on the grind. And this morning, you're a grindologist. You're up this morning, right? Which means that he chose you to get up in the morning. He chose you to have another chance today. He chose you to have another opportunity or, or not because what he, as a baby in the word, that's what they say, a baby in the word, right? You got, I don't, all the scripture, but if you apply the level of the work that you do to match the level of, your, of the faith that you have and what you want in your life, man, I, I believe that we can accomplish anything. That's just me. I, I don't know where they write that at, but it's good to have Mr. Willie Tug, Willie Lee Tug. We'll get a Willie Lee Tug uh, story. We'll come back on the other side. These are our partners in success. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Welcome to the Jazz Zone. Allow the Jazz Zone to make the next event enjoyable and entertaining. The Jazz Zone is great for private parties, weddings, festivals, fundraisers, grand openings, and corporate affairs. Move up to the next level of entertaining with the Jazz Zone. Check out our website at jazzzone.net. That's J-A-Z-Z-Z-O-N-E dot net. Or call the Jazz Zone at 626-798-6848. John Owens, I am co-founder of Success Express Marketing Solutions. Our business is cultivating more business for your business. I want to tell you real quick about our program that is one of the most comprehensive business development uh, online marketing support programs out there, which is the BASP, B-A-S-P, Virtual Assistant Support Program. This system allows you to operate and run your business while we help monitor and help you cultivate more business for your business online. Contact us at 909-686-1698 and visit us online at successexpressmarketing.com. Look forward to helping you take your business to the next level. Man, they're over there doing some crazy stuff over there back in the lab back there, man. I'm going to get Mr. Willie Lee Tubbs. We're going to get a quick Willie Lee Tubbs uh, uh, story. Uh, I love the name. Uh, I, I know a little bit about Texas, so I know how they, they get that. Everybody's a Lee. Tell me about a Willie Lee story right there, man. we got a few minutes for we Give me a Willie Lee. A Willie Lee story. Well, let me say it like this. <coughs> A Willie Lee story, uh, whenever I was on my paid internship and I worked on this paid internship for over 15 years, 
every month, I mean, every year when the year comes around, I used, I used to say, this is my last year. 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 And everybody laughed at me. Everybody laughed at me. And as they laughed at me, they don't understand that I was speaking my words into existence for myself. I wasn't saying it for them. Because I had to believe in myself before I could show you who I, who I'm really, who am I really, you know, who I. So therefore, I began to grind on myself each and every day. And there is an old Chinese proverb that says, when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. When my mentor, Dr. Stan Harris, came into my life, everything changed. And I became the first African-American male in Vernon, Texas, to be a published author. And not only that, been on the news six or seven times. Spoke uh, first African-American male to speak at um, my children's high school. And why am I saying this? I'm saying all this to say people may doubt you. People may hate on you. As a matter of fact, remember this, haters. My acronym for haters is having animosity toward everyone reaching success. Go for your dream, no matter what, and don't stop. I just got to, I just got to talking to my mentee a couple of days ago. He asked me a question from the first time he met me. He saw my growth, but at the same time, he was growing himself. So he asked me this, um, this one thing. He said. Tell me one thing that you could give me that I could use that will help me to get to my dream. And the question and the uh, answer I gave him is don't stop. No matter what, do not stop. Do not stop at all because we are counting on each other. I need you just as much as you need me. My man, my man. See, that's a Willie Lee story for you right there. <laughs> See, uh, uh, champions are revealed on stage. That's that's not where they're made of. They're made in the story. That's why we need a Willie Lee story. See, because you're my man right there. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for the impact you're making. Uh, you see the scroller right there. Contact Mr. Willie Lee. Uh, and, and go on the website, connect, learn, learn about what's coming in the, in the future. Mr. Tubbs, again, it's been an honor to have you on the Grind Dollars You One on One podcast, man. Again, we'll get a chance to work together, get a chance to learn from you, and we'll most definitely we'll be talking. We got some work to do to make a difference. Thank you, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Mr. Willie Lee Tubbs, man. Uh, he's humble. I'm glad that, that he's in a position to really share the story because it's a lot of times that we just don't share what we had to go through and even what we've accomplished and flowers while you're alive, brother, because we, we very seldom, very seldom share the flowers to each other while we're doing the work today. Man, thank you. Man, we're going to get ready to get on out of here. We're going to keep on, man, just uh, inspiring, encouraging, and, and open to make a difference in somebody's life. That somebody this morning could say, man, I get to. I get to go to work. I get to fix my flat tire. I get to fix my relationship with my daughter. I get to fix my relationship with my family. I, I, I get to work on my, my, my work skills. I get to work on my diet. I get to work on my weight. I get to work. I get to. If you get the mindset of I get to, everything is possible. We get to. He gave us a choice. We can decide that we get to or we decide that we have to. You might as well look at it like I get to. You said you wanted to do it. Now you're getting to do it. And then you don't even want to do it. That's funny, right? Hey, man, keep doing it. We see on the other side.